Okay, since I did best worst anime, I want to do best worst characters. So it's basically characters that y'all don't really like that either I like, I feel like y'all should leave alone or I get it, but at the same time, this person can't help it but be a character that y'all hate, okay? So I'm gonna do six and I'm, I, I got another video explaining, so I'll post that video later. But I'm just gonna name the six people that I got. Um, Takamichi from Tokyo Avengers. Like, I know he's a crybaby. Sometimes he's pointless. Also, he did not get the job done. But I feel like Takamichi served a purpose for Mikey that we, that, I ain't gonna say we, y'all didn't understand. Because that's my theory. The reason why he wanted him in the gang so bad, I feel like he was... A reminder of what Mikey was trying to do so I feel like for that reason spare him of the hate the next one is light Yagami now I didn't know y'all dislike light until I saw a reddit forum where everybody was like talking about who they like and light was people was saying him a lot and I get it I don't really like or dislike him I kind of feel like for a character like that choosing a side I ain't gonna say it's weird but I feel like it kind of prevents you from enjoying what it's supposed to be and so i'm just indifferent when it comes to him and i feel like if if most people would get the power that he got they would end up just like him too they would be on a power trip too so even though y'all don't like him could y'all really remain uh the same good kind-hearted people have integrity if you had a death note I don't think many people would so spare him just because of that he had power that he didn't he he that kind of got the best of him so Deku and the reason why I y'all I see a lot I don't see a lot of people saying that they hate him but I see a lot of people saying that you know he's a crybaby he's too sensitive and stuff like that and I kind of feel like characters like that need more love than hate because they're really kind-hearted people and yeah Deku cry a lot but when at the end of the day when it's time to get busy he gets busy and he protects his friends and he protect his uh whatever the little city they live in or whatever so get off of him a little bit give, give him some slack now gone from hunter hunter i don't think that y'all dislike gone but i see a lot of people saying that killable would have been a better main character and i highly disagree Kilawa did not have any goals he didn't have any drive drive and some points he was very cowardly there were a lot of times where he wouldn't even fight certain people because he he was taught not to fight people that he didn't think he could win against and a lot of times he would be backing out of fights i just don't feel like Kilawa would have been a better main character but i think that y'all think that because he got white hair and i get it i like white hair characters too Kilawa is my favorite character too but i don't think that he would be a better main character than gone he didn't have enough storyline to be in my opinion the next one is inuasha now i see a lot of y'all saying that y'all don't like him he's toxic because he didn't return kagome's feelings and stuff like that and i kind of feel like inuasha should be cut some slack because there was a lot of trauma that he did not get to deal with when it came to that situation that happened between him and kikio when naraku made them believe that they turned on each other and it didn't happen that way and then he was frozen to that tree for 50 years and when he woke up that was still that was still fresh on his mind he didn't get time to he didn't get time to process that and i feel like he don't deserve the hate for that reason like then y'all pick us a showmaru over him please but that's another conversation for another day the last one is tanjiro and it's the same way for deku i kind of feel like y'all don't like him for the same reasons because he is empathetic to the demons and stuff like that and i get it when you're on the battlefield you don't feel like empathy has a place there but i feel like it does and also tanjiro cannot help that the writers of demon slayer dropped the ball by not carrying on the storyline from season one he can't help that he can't help if they focus more on the demons than they did the demon slayers he can't help that i don't even really know much about tanjiro for real except seeing visions of his family uh whatever that 
they were selling and him taking it to town and stuff. He, we don't really even know nothing about him. But you know who we know about? All of the demons that he killed. And that shouldn't be a thing. But I feel like I like characters like, like him. I feel like characters who are kind-hearted... Um, they still gonna fight because he's the same way as Zeku. Like, yeah, he gonna cry, but he gonna he gonna get busy when it's time to fight. So, like, lay off of him, please. Um, that's the end of my list. Like I said, I have another video, um, explaining it, and I will post it at a later date. But let me know what y'all think about this list. Do y'all agree? Do y'all disagree? Who else do y'all feel like belongs here? Who else do y'all feel like a lot of people in the anime community hate, but y'all don't? Let me know. Stitch this video, do it, comment, whatever y'all want to do, and let me know what y'all think.